Americans are facing growth headwinds. How do you see growth in these countries, and how do you see India being placed in terms of growth versus the BRICS? Yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, the BRIC nations have kind of come under the scan over the last uh, year or two. Uh, growth rates have dropped quite significantly. India recorded a 5% GDP growth rate uh, last quarter, slightly below that. Uh, Chinese growth, as we just said, has gone down a fair bit uh, uh, from the structural levels it was at uh, five years back. Uh, Brazil, after hitting a very significant high in 2011, I think at 8%, has gone down significantly, down to about 2%. Uh, same with Russia. Uh, clearly, there are structural issues in the BRIC economies, and uh, and I think uh, we are beginning to see some signs of these structural issues being addressed now. For example, the entire reform package in India over the last three or four months, uh, the effort to you know reduce fiscal deficit, current account deficit, uh, and not just pursue growth blindly. You've seen something similar in China as well. Uh, the new Policymakers are not unduly worried about uh, a headline GDP growth. Uh, Brazil also, you know, they increase interest rates. They're sacrificing growth for a more stable and a more sustainable environment. So, so our sense is that uh, it'll take time for these measures to flow through uh, in the form of higher structural growth. But it seems to, to us that they are on a better track today than they were last year when they were ignoring the structural challenges that the economies were facing. How are you reading the global commodity prices and how do you see it impacting India and specific sectors like iron and steel and the overall consumption sectors? Yeah, uh, as I said earlier, we believe that uh, the, the big bull run in commodities is probably over. Uh, to that extent, we are not so kind of positive on global commodity prices. Uh, as far as India is concerned, India has a significant import content in commodities, uh, which basically means that, especially in energy, uh, you've got tons of imports on, on petroleum products as well as uh, on coal now. Uh, so if global commodity prices kind of come off, it's going to be good for the economy, uh, no doubt. It's going to ease off inflationary pressures, it's going to allow the central bank to cut rates, it's going to ease the current account, the fiscal account deficit as well. Having said that, uh, India does have a fair share of uh, cyclicals in its kind of in indices, you know. So some of those stocks could come under pressure. Having said that, companies which are suffering because uh, because there was there were very little processing margin because of very high mining prices they, they're going to benefit you know at the margin because they will get some margins in, in processing as in people who convert from raw oil to, to finished product you know so some of that's going to flow through in a positive manner as well 